It's just going to be a quick thing that I found out the other day. Um, you have some clicking in your voices, like when you like when you play a note, sounds fine. But like when you switch to another, there's a very distinct clicking noise, and that annoys the everything shit out of you. Well, here's a fix. For slice X, uh, you would just zoom in a lot onto this thing. You would click this button down here to enable it. You'd right click on this line. And then just lower this first point all the way down. And now, clicking is gone. It's because we lightly, slightly, slightly increased the attack time. Which means it doesn't hit immediately, it hits just after that. So, you don't have any more clicking. Fruity Sound Font Player, which is now supported, by the way, in the latest version of FL. You don't have to do 32-bit anymore. There's a little bit of clicking. So, we have this ADSR here, Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. Uh, if you've messed with synths before, you probably already know what to do, but in case you don't, just hold down Control, just move it up, like, one tick, or like, to about three. You see up here, look up here, you can see the value that it is, just move it up to like, three or like enough there clicking is gone also you can uh, do some vibrato with this one too if I just up the delay put the amount up uh, like what was it like here let's see Okay, so you have the you have the amount up to like about I don't know six, speed to seventy seven, then the delay. Yeah, you just tweak with these things until it sounds right. The delay uh, basically delays the like increases the amount of time until the vibrato actually comes in. So that's nice. Moving on, um, so we have direct wave now. This is a little bit more complex than uh, Fruity Sound Font Player, to say the least. But uh, it should be noted that if this is the direct wave player, you won't have access to the zone and sample. So if you don't have access to these, these won't really work. So I just recommend you use the Sound Font Player. But if you want to use direct wave, it's the same process. It's just bump this up slightly. Just up the attack time. Now, for vibrato, it's a bit different. Um, you see we have this LFO1 and LFO2. D messing with these doesn't actually change anything yet because they're not actually linked to anything. So you would go to zone, and then you would uh, put down this one, program LFO1, and then you would have it change the voice pitch. You just up that slightly. Okay, so it's doing the thing. So you got an attack. I don't really like the sound of Senpai's voice. Yeah, it's just basically, just tweak this knob until it sounds right, you know, just tweak these until it sounds right, but that's that's how you activate it, basically. So if you want to change the speed of the, uh, of the, of the vibrato, you would change this, because that increases how fast the FL goes. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the phase does, it probably, like, just offsets the LFO itself. Then the attack increases the amount of time until the LFO actually hits. Uh, it should be noted that you can actually do stuff with a slicer and have like a vibrato but it requires you to use uh fruity slicer and i am not good with fruity slicer so that's if you, if you do know how to use fruity slicer though uh you just click this little gear icon and then go over to this thing you'd go over to pitch and then uh you would mess with the alpha here you know like slightly increase the amount not a lot up the speed just a little bit and then increase the delay. 
Uh, that's how that works. Or maybe the attack a little bit too. Yeah. You just do that for uh, Fruity Slicer. Hope uh, that was able to help you. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.